Greetings YouTube, this is one of those videos that is just a huge accomplishment but also a huge gamble. It is the definition of an exploration that could have game-changing consequences or unfortunately trash results. Now here's the problem, there we go. Uh, whenever I record and I don't have my normal webcam set up, it makes the start of these blurry videos extra grainy. And so it usually takes, I don't know, at least five or six seconds to sharpen. But now, now it looks like something that you could get used to seeing on your device. I also enjoy these kind of videos sometimes because I'm a radio guy, right? I worked for National Public Radio for years while I was in school. And people told me for years, Shane, you have a face for radio. And so this helps bring me back to that era of my life where I could just embrace the audio. What's up, Vegan Thor? You might become a carnivore with the new buff. We'll see. We've been wrong before. Here's looking at you, Yellow Jacket. All right, going for a featured. He does have the shards. That's also a new glitch where sometimes when you're recording, it'll rewind like two seconds and play. There is a century of disappointment. Oh. There you go. Bart Simbro giving us a century of disappointment. Okay, now he's going to give us a six star roster. He's got Doom, Ghost, and Torch Awakened. Amazing. And then a good grief, a bunch of trash. That is a bottom heavy amount of six star memes. Hmm. There's a lot of gambling in this. There are no selectors in this opening as far as I can remember. There's a fully formed tier 5 class catalyst just like half of the uh, abyss exploration or just like the abyss completion. And he got cosmic which should help you'd think. <laughs> Any one of these should help at some point. Okay. From Cosmic to maybe the Awakening Gym next? Yeah. Can he get the same class? I always appreciate the same class because you could, in theory, awaken someone and take them to rank three immediately with the right amount. And he's not. He gets both colors of blue. So there you go. Light blue and dark blue. All right, now what? Now what? <laughs> We've got five regular calves. Is he going to pop them? Uh, we don't know. Maybe. He is. He got a five-star nexus. Okay, well, that's one of those things that how many of you watching this completed or explored Act 6 before Nexus Crystals were in those Cavaliers. It's a different crystal now. We've seen very few people, but a few people, get a 6-star Nexus from their regular Cavalier Crystals. Those just used, just used to be 3- and 4-star throw-ins, essentially. Almost no chance for a 5 or 6-star. And now I'm not saying that you have a, a huge chance, but you still have a chance. All right, he's got the 6-star Nexus... He's got the rank up gems. He's got the. He's probably going for the tier five. There he is. All right, he got Mystic, which. Did he have zero Mystic before that? That's crazy. All right, now the bonus five star Nexus. Let's get ready to pause this. First of two Nexus. And, ooh, you got to awaken your thing, right? I mean. New champion and OG Spider-Man. How are you going to awaken? You don't have OG Spider-Man? Consider yourself lucky. That guy deserves such a good buff. You should get excited when you play this game about landing on OG Spidey. But instead, you just roll your eyes and think, ugh, what a waste. What a wasted effort that is. Oof. All right, so now he's got a six-star basic and a six-star nexus. I think so. I think that's what he's doing. 
All right. Here we go. The crystal is slowing down. And, oh, you've got to be kidding me. I just talked about how much I don't like this guy and how much we should all like this guy. And that's his second dupe of OG Spidey? Please tell me the six-star Nexus is going to have something good because that kind of thing makes me want to quit the game. This is the kind of thing that just makes you want to quit the game. Please give him some good champion to save this opening. OG Spidey. He didn't even major in web design. All right, Crystal is slowing down. And, I mean, Howard the no longer suck is much better than he used to be. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, I'm thankful for him. I don't use him that much. I took him straight to 565, and I just haven't used him. I use him a little bit for Cavalier Event Quest. But the double Warlock usually works out better than Howard anyway. I don't, how, sh how should he feel about this? What a weird opening, you know what I'm saying? At least he got a five-star Nexus out of the regular Cavs and and got some luck there. I, I don't know. There's there's so much work that goes into the exploration of Act 6. I mean, I think it's much harder in a lot of ways than Act 7. And so to do that and then to get mostly average to terrible luck, it's disappointing for sure. Well, let me know what you think of this in the comments below. And thanks again to Bart Simbro for the Crystal Opening Commentary Submission.